So we are back with a brand new giveaway finally and I wanted to do this just as like a special event or occasion for when I'm away to New York for the origami convention this year in June. So today is June the 18th, this is when I'm recording it and I'll upload it in a few hours. It is basically 3.08 so I'll upload it in about 2 hours so your video is brand new. But I wanted to do this just like as, like a, as a thank you in a way. So I've not done one in ages in a while, so I thought I'd give away a few things. So let's go through them from top to bottom. First of all, we have Brian Chan's uh, Dorsus Curvidens. Curvidens, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but really, really nice insect. Absolutely love this one. I think this was the first model I ever made from single tissue when I started making it. It's such a nice model. Oh, and the reason I'm doing this giveaway is because I'm running out of space. <laughs> And I need, I need more space for new models. So we have Brian Chan's Insect. We have Robert Lang's Yellow Jacket. Again, really nice model. If this model wasn't white, I wouldn't give it away. I think this is the best wasp I've ever made. So I'm definitely going to do it again with Yellow Tissue. Because I love that model, but I just want it in, I want it in the actual colour. Then we have the base for Satoshi Kamiya's Praying Mantis so all you have to do is shape it Again, I would provide instructions with it but I, technically that's illegal because I'm providing an illegal copy of it so you need to find instructions to finish shaping it and obviously I don't want to get in trouble doing that but it's easy to come around, buy the book find the book online, it's entirely up to you but you have the, the finished base and the reason I'm giving this giving this away is because I don't want another madness. I've got enough in the house already, as is. And this is more a simple one. I'd like the more complex ones. So you have the full base ready to shape. And also that's single tissue as well. Single tissue, in case I say that too fast. And then we have this little cool tessellation as well. I made this a few years ago. I really like this as well. And then we have what is the most important model here so far. Robert Lang's tarantula. Now this tarantula is probably probably my favourite one so far. Other than the, the fishy one I made a, a while ago. But this one is after many many attempts years and years ago that I finally decided I'm really happy with this model. So I stopped doing it. So this is probably probably my second best attempt at Robert Lang's tarantula years and years ago. So this is the second closest model to my heart other than the ancient dragon I gave away years ago, the first one. So we have that. We have two sheets of paper we have, in fact let's take this off, or oh, three sheets including that one. Let's start with this one, this is a small sheet of Gucci, so again just listen. Super thin, super crisp, ultra shiny on one side, matte on the other, and also really shiny, you can't see it. I don't have an actual lens in because it's all packed up in my case. I'm doing this on the case because I have nowhere else to record. I'm too busy packing up. You have a sheet of Gucci. You have a larger sheet of Gucci. So this is basically like a, like a dot red colour. And I like to call this forest, forest green because it helps me keep track of how to make them. So nice again, same again, just listen. Super crisp. Oh, that, that fell. Again, super crisp, super thin. This is the same paper I used to make Kota's Insect. Uh, the link's in the description if you want to see it. It's that same paper, obviously just different colour. So we have the forest green. And again, super shiny on one side, and again, matte on the other, and shiny as well. So that is that. Um, oh yeah, one more thing, how am I going to... I need to put all this on here and pull this off. I can only use one hand. There. They're safe, don't worry. And we have the perfectly pre-creased... Uh, 
Obelix uh, Walking in the Rain. So I've prefixed this for you in advance. Took my time to make sure I don't make any creases. So as you can see, we have all the creases here that we need, and we have none here. So the model will look really nice when we don't have any extra creases. Also, none here, so all look really nice. These are, these are the parts you see, they want them to look clean. And again, here as well. So you have that to collapse. Um, I'm not going to give it the CP, it's easy to find this online on Google. Again, I don't want to provide an illegal copy, just in case for whatever reason I get in trouble. Which I don't think I would anyway, so that is everything that you get. So if you want to enter this giveaway, there are two things that you need to do. First of all, leave a comment in the description, it can be any comment. Tell me why you want to win. And secondly, so that was the first one. Secondly, this applies to people that go that, that are going to the Origami USA convention basically in the next couple of days. If you are going, so I do apologize if this doesn't include you, but if you are going to the convention, then of course I will be there. What I want you to do is this will get you 10 extra votes. And this giveaway. Two seconds before I'm trying to record this giveaway. So this will give you 10 extra votes in the giveaway. What you need to do is find me. I will be somewhere at the convention, either at my models, in class, outside with friends, folding, uh, recording. Or I will practically be a vlogger when you see me there. Um, in the cafeteria, anywhere. So if you see me, uh, come up to me and give me a bit of paper that has your YouTube name on it. So a piece of paper, just cut out, write your YouTube name that you're commenting and this giveaway and give it to me. I will then take a picture of it and when I get home I'll add, I'll write down all the names and then write them all down 10 extra times including your comment in the description. So you'll have 11 comments. So basically that is that. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, the deadline will be in the description, haven't decided just yet. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you at the convention.